crossbow finals. Speak your mind. Honestly, I could use the distraction. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the Groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gaying, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. They must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennysons know about. You've got my attention. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Some townships have asked Halcyon News to make a statement regarding rumors of food shortages. Rest assured, the far-sighted corporate leaders of Halcyon have tailored their product lines to be selective to the refined customer. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Column.
You should clear out. Engineering's a dangerous place to wander until we get those radiators fixed. Efficient, competent. It will mostly. I think everything in here is worth more than I made in my whole life. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? This is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. Be my guest. A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Uh, 
Ugh. Law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not all right, exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess. Well, now that that's dealt with, was there anything else you wanted to discuss? I'm the certified representative of the board's interests here on the Groundbreaker. I'm their eyes, ears, and busy little hands. Better that than moving crates in the cargo bay. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. Aren't their guns very large? Tremendously impressive. They're here to keep the peace, of course. Indeed. What is the saying? The two most common elements in the universe are hydrogen and stupidity. <laughs> Someone must stand for reason and order, and the board is best equipped to do so. Saw me trip over that thread. I'm not going anywhere. You can't get me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene.
sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? Not without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no. You may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever gonna get my service mechanicals at this rate. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Still haven't found a good way to get the blood out from under my nails. Sharp. 
You're sure this is perfectly safe? I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the blood tear diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Any word on Jesse? Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. 